Hello everyone, what is MPLS? I'm gonna explain it to you right away. MPLS stands for multi-protocol label switching. It's a routing technique in telecommunications networks that directs IP packets from one router to the next based on labels. Labels identify established paths between devices. Basically, MPLS is a switching technique, just like packet switching and circuit switching. Before we dive into its technical details, let me give you a quick rundown on how a traditional IP packet travels over the internet. Did you ever order something online from a distant retailer and then track the package as it makes strange and illogical stops all over the country? That's similar to the way IP packet works on the internet. When a router receives an IP packet, it only carries the destination IP address. There is no instruction on how that packet should get to its destination. After receiving an IP packet, router opens it up and reads the IP address. Then forwards the IP packet to the next router based on routing table. Next router does the same thing. The process is repeated at each router along the route until the packet eventually reaches its destination. All of those stops and all of those individual routing decisions consume time and hardware resources, resulting in degraded performance for time-sensitive applications like voice and video. This is packet switching technique where data path is not fixed. Packet can take different route to get to its destination. So each router makes an independent forwarding decision for each packet. Therefore, every time a packet arrives at a router, the router has to think through where to send the packet next. While on the other hand, in circuit switching, data path is fixed. It's used in traditional telephone networks. There is a complete video on packet and circuit switching. Link is in the description. Check it out. Alright, now let's get around MPLS. It was created in the late 1990s as a more efficient alternative to traditional IP routing. With MPLS, IP packet is directed through the shortest path via labels instead of requiring complex lookups in a routing table at every stop. Think of it like the process of planning a long drive. Instead of identifying which towns and cities you must drive through to reach the destination, it is usually more efficient to identify the roads that go in the right direction. Similarly, MPLS identifies paths rather than a series of intermediary destinations. Let's be more specific. In an MPLS network, MPLS assigns a 32-bit label to each IP packet. For example, when an IP packet arrives, it gets labeled on the entry by the first router. This is also the router that predetermines the entire route the packet will take until it reaches its destination address. Then IP packet reaches the next router. It only checks the label. Every router on the internet checks only MPLS labels and perform packet forwarding. They never care about the destination IP address. Finally, last router removes the label and forwards the original IP packet toward its final destination. When a router receives a packet, it does one or more of these functions. Push adds a label. This is typically performed by the first router. Swap replaces a label. This is usually performed by routers between the first and the last routers. Pop removes a label. This is most often done by the last router. MPLS is also called 2.5 layer protocol because it works below the network layer, layer 3, and above the data link layer, layer 2. Benefits of MPLS It provides faster transmission, so users don't experience downtime when connected to the network. It's good for real-time applications that cannot tolerate latency, such as video and voice. Data and voice applications can run on the same MPLS network. It provides quality of service, flexibility, and controls the flow of network traffic.
Drawbacks include expensive, lack of total control, point-to-point -point connectivity only, long time to deploy, lack of encryption, cloud challenges. The bottom line is MPLS can work with IP, Ethernet, frame relay and asynchronous transfer mode. Alright, so this brings me to the end of my video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.